Hey everybody, what's up? My name is Kate Garns and I am so excited to be joining in partnership with the Character Strong team to bring you another virtual assembly. I am here all the way in, well, today it's not so sunny Orlando, Florida, um, and I can't wait to just talk to you and hang out with you for a little bit of time during this crazy, crazy time. Is this not like an absolutely incredible, crazy time? Who ever thought we would live through something like this? Um, and I don't know about all of you, but I have spent a lot of my time doing puzzles. I've spent a lot of my time cleaning, um, eating all of the food in my house, and also thinking. There has been so much time to think, so much time to process things I haven't really processed before. And one of those things is anger that I have held toward people or bitterness that I have held toward people. Um, which leads me to what I want to talk to you all about today, which is forgiveness. Um, forgiveness, it tends to have this quality of like, well, but if I forgive somebody, then I have to be best friends with them again, and I have to let them in, and I have to forget that they totally wrecked me. No, no, that is not, that's not at all what forgiveness means. See, to me, forgiveness isn't for them. Forgiveness is for you. A few years ago, um, super long story short, I was betrayed by, by a couple people, a couple friends of mine who lied to me and um, made me feel crazy, made me feel like the insecurities that were totally, totally justified were my fault. And um, it was one of the worst friendship betrayals I've ever been through. And I was angry, like really, truly brought out an ugly side of me that I did not like. They are not a part of my life anymore. I have not seen them in probably four years. Um, but just the thought of them brings up this anger and this, this bitterness in me. But here's the thing, that's not affecting them. It's only affecting me. My, me holding on to this anger and this bitterness isn't punching them in the face. It's only really punching me in the face. So when we think about forgiveness, I want you to change the narrative to realizing that forgiveness isn't for them. Forgiveness is for you. Forgiveness is for me. Forgiveness is when we've been hurt, when we've been betrayed. We tend to like clench our fists, right? We furrow our brows, we clench our fists, and we, and we hold, and we hold this anger, and we, we squeeze it as tight as we can, and it, and it, and it's, it's hard and it hurts and it's just this, right? And we shake and we're angry. Now, I can hold this for right now, this anger, this, this shaking. And I am clenching my fists as hard as I possibly can and it's making my arms shake. But if I hold this for two hours as hard as I can, suddenly my arms are going to hurt and my back is going to hurt and my head is going to hurt. This isn't hurting the people who hurt me. This isn't hurting the friend who let you down. This isn't hurting the sibling who called you fat. This isn't hurting the stranger who made fun of something you were wearing. This isn't hurting them. This is only hurting you. Someone once said, holding on to anger is like drinking a poison and expecting the other person to die. Or holding on to anger is like holding on to hot burning coals and expecting the other person to be burned. So when we're thinking through forgiveness right now, you may be holding on to anger um, from this pandemic. Maybe you are you were hurt by this pandemic. It took away something that you've been waiting for your whole life, your senior prom, your graduation, learning a class that you've been waiting for in school, getting to hang out with your friends. Maybe you've been holding on to a betrayal from a friend, 
Someone said something to you that hurt. Someone lied to you. Maybe a parent made a comment to you that burned really deeply. A sibling, a teacher, an advisor, whatever it is, and you are angry and you are hurting. Take this time to find forgiveness. Not for them. Not for them. Ultimately, they don't deserve your energy. Now, I'm not saying they don't deserve love and kindness, because I believe everyone deserves kindness. But they don't get your energy of holding this anymore. Because this is only hurting you. So whatever that is, whatever is making you do this, I want you to let it go. I want you to take a deep breath. And I want you to let it go for you. Now listen, this doesn't mean you have to let them back in. This doesn't mean you have to trust them. This doesn't mean that they deserve a spot at your table or in your life. Sometimes it is healthier for both people or situations to go your separate ways. But the forgiveness side of it is for you. The forgiveness side is to let go of that hurt and that anger because it's only hurting you. It's not hurting them. So whatever it is that you're holding on to right now that is that is hard and heavy and burning and, and angry, I ask you to unclench your fists and let it go. Understanding that you are worthy of letting go of that anger and that pain. You are worth so much more than stooping to the level of holding on to anger of someone that isn't worth it or a situation that isn't worth it or this pandemic that isn't worth it. And then I want you to take a deep breath And I want you to try to find what good can come from this. So my friends that betrayed me a couple years ago, man, I was broken. Like I was so, so angry and so hurt. And I pushed a lot of people in my life away who had nothing to do with that situation solely because I was afraid that those people were gonna hurt me too. Even though they had nothing to do, they didn't even know that all of this had happened with this completely separate group. And I said, what can I learn from this? I can learn to not treat people the way they treated me. I can make that my mission to never make anyone else feel the way they made me feel. I know now how I deserve to not be treated and how I deserve to be treated. So I will up my standards when letting people get really close to me, which is smart. I'm going to love people better because in the span of being hurt by those people, I hurt a lot of people because I pushed everyone and everything away. So I'm gonna love better. You have the choice in this pandemic, in an argument with your friends, in a fight with your parents, in a misunderstanding, you have the choice to forgive. You have the choice to look at a situation and find the good. And it might be hard. There are some situations that are really hard to find the good, but I promise you, even if it's teeny tiny, it's there. So today, I ask you, my sweet, sweet friends, to let go of that anger and that bitterness and that hurt because you're worth letting go. You're worth living a life free of of hurt and anger and bitterness and and because it's only hurting you why are you letting them still hurt you they don't deserve that you don't deserve that so i ask you today to truly truly step into your greatness and allow forgiveness in forgive yourself maybe you've messed up maybe you've done something you are also worth forgiveness you are worth forgiving you are worth loving, you are worth achieving, you are worth kindness, you are worth forgiving. So wherever you are, whatever battle you are facing, I ask that you look inside yourself and you find the forgiveness that you deserve. You all are amazing. Please stay safe and hopefully I will see you on the, I know, not even hopefully, I will see you on the other side of this forgiveness and all. My love to all.